Hi, I'm Karen Green. I'm a North Star member, and today I'm talking to member Phil Holtcarden. Hi, Phil. Hi, how are you today? I'm doing all right. When did you join North Star? I joined North Star more than a year ago, in, in I believe it was April of 2015. Oh, so and you haven't been here that long. No, not, not really, because actually, like I said, it was April, but... I, the first couple of months, I didn't come that much. You know, I was kind of getting used to the place. It it takes me it takes me a little time to to get used to people that I'm around. And then then after I was here for about three months, then I I started doing a few things. The reason why I came to North Star is the biggest problem I've had through my life always finding a place where I could get support and be around people that I felt safe around. Usually that's always been with veterans. But the problem I had with veterans is veterans, we all share a thing of the stress and the and the things that we have from our combat. It took most of us 10 years or more before we started getting any kind of counseling or we we ever really got together most of us didn't we'd have a few friends here and there but uh, a lot of guys didn't even admit that they were veterans when they when they came home i didn't even in applications when i went for jobs i i didn't even put down that i was a veteran it wasn't until 1980 they started the vet centers when I when I went down then I started getting involved with with a lot of veterans and that was in Hawaii then I went out to the east coast in Providence Rhode Island and I was at a vet center there and and I got involved with a group there we started a Vietnam Veterans of America chapter there was 39 of us because you had to have that many to start a chapter within two years of that there was about seven seven guys had died from from different things and the first one was our chapter president who was a surgeon in Vietnam and he died of Agent Orange and the last guy that died he died of Agent Orange uh, Hodgkins and he didn't catch it till the very end and he went in the hospital and he only lived like three weeks and for me I kind of did it for groups I don't think I've been to a, a funeral since and that was in 86 or something like that what branch of the military were you in I was in the Marine Corps I was in Vietnam in 66 and 67 so for me being close to anybody was very difficult even veteran friends. Finally, after all that, I came out to Portland in 96 and did a lot of different things. Well, volunteered at the Ronald McDonald House, and I worked with kids who had cancer, and a lot of people have a hard time doing that, but for me, it was easier because once you've been around combat, you've been around death. It's difficult, but it was easier for me, and then I worked for the Suicide Lifeline, and that was kind of the same way, but that that ended up kind of bad for me. I ended up back in the in the psych ward. I isolate like a lot of a lot of people, you know, especially with us like that have mental health challenges. So throughout the years, being at the VA, there's a lot of therapy. So I've had cognitive behavioral therapy, DBT therapy, and this uh, other one, acceptance commitment therapy. So I've learned to do a lot of things and take care of myself. But still, through time, all through that, isolating and not being able to get out of the house has been the biggest difficulty. So I had just last February in 2015 had an incident and been isolating and had to go into the psych ward to stabilize myself. I was headed home with the same prospects that I've had many years, but 
at least now I knew that I had to do something about it. So ended up coming in, sitting down. This guy comes out of this office and uh, he says, oh, hi, how you doing? And I said, well, I'm okay. <laughs> and so he starts talking to me, finding out about me. And he's asking me these questions on what, what I want to do and then he's explaining about North Star. So he says, well, gee, uh, how'd you like to join? <laughs> he gets some papers. He puts them in front of me. He says, well, here, fill these out. I left. So I came back to North Star, walked in, and I, and I gave it to him. So he says, oh, great. Well, you're a member now. And the, the, the guy that did that for me was Bill. This is Bill Waters, our former this, director? This is Bill Waters, yeah. You know, Bill has, has really been a, really a great influence on me. Bill kind of get me involved in doing a few things around here. After about two or three months, he says, I got to go down to this outpatient clinic and give him a talk about North Star. Would you like to go? But it was, it was pretty good. And then about a month or so later, he says, I'm going to do an orientation. He says, why don't you come on in and sit down with me? I was kind of, I had gotten used to it, and I, I was starting to enjoy it. And do you do orientations now? Yes, I've been doing orientations pretty regularly, along with one or two other, other members, and it means a lot to me because I have found this to be, well, not a help for me, but I think it's a great opportunity for others. One of the things I want to do also here is go out to other places, our North Star needs to be more well-known. Right now, I'm help working on the, the strategy team so we can get our accreditation. I always try, if somebody is having a, a problem or needs some help, I always try to, to help. But I've been very fortunate that I've had people in my life help me. I definitely believe in, in giving back. Has North Star helped your recovery? I am a disabled veteran, and I have PTSD. And it's, it's a lot better than it, it used to be. My moods don't go up and down as much. Or I'm, I used to be a rapid cycler four times a year. But it it's still it takes a lot of work to, to, to reset and, and be here a lot of the times. You just, you just have to work at it. It's worth it. I know when I do these things, my life is so much better. Ten years ago, I used to average every other year in a psych ward. 40, 50 jobs in a 20-year period. Manic for a month or two, and then boom, just drop. What kind of advice do you have for anyone who's looking at North Star and thinking of joining us? There's a vast array of opportunities at North Star. There's things that actually anyone can take advantage of. It depends on what the person is interested in and what they want to do. The only way we're going to, to do well at North Star is to help someone else do well. We offer a great deal from people that need some place to come and just spend a little bit of time. People that want to do things and really be productive. We have a employment team that can help people find employment and still come help North Star attain further growth. What's your favorite part of North Star? My favorite part of North Star is talking about North Star. Gotten a lot out of North Star, so I want people to have the opportunity to come here. I've helped people come here. I've really gotten several good friends here. That's a lot to say for me. So I've created something quite unique in my life here. North Star has been very good to me. Phil, since you do orientations, when are those? If someone who's listening wants to come in, when can they join you? Well, we have orientations twice a week. Tuesdays and Thursdays at 2 o'clock. Okay. You can find me there or several others of our very talented members. Any last words? Hope to see you at North Star. Thank you, Phil. My pleasure. If you like this video and want to support North Star, please go to northstarclubhouse.org and click Donate.